What if the United States kept the Articles of Confederation? How would it have changed the way power was used in America and how strong the new country would actually be? How much would the United States differ from our constitutional timeline? Not surprisingly, a lot. Now before we get into how the articles would have changed America, we should have reviewed what the articles usually cover. Number one, the Articles of Confederation would mean the U.S. would have been a much different country than today. The document would have meant to keep the states in the Revolution Era relations, with them staying as sovereign entities, only united by a representative government who was in charge of foreign relation matters such as trade and war. Two, this meant that the states would act as a somewhat European Union-esque style of each other. The states would have common currency, yet the people paid taxes to the state, not a federal government. This meant that if the central government wanted to go to war, they would need to ask the states for money. 3. The states would have been a lot more nation-like today if we sell the Articles of Confederation and the term United States of America would, would, see, would seem less of a country and more of an alliance of countries. And maybe it wouldn't be called the United States of America. Maybe it would be called American Union. But maybe not. So anyways, now that we got out of the way, let's say the Articles were never abolished. How would have this changed the U.S.? While the U.S. would never gain Louisiana territory from France since the Constitution never invent invented the idea of the American president, meaning Jefferson would have never negotiated with France in getting the territory. It would drastically reduce America's financial size and limit it to the east of Mississippi. New territories would essentially form small independent nations who would then align with the fellow confederation of independent small states. Since the small North American states would not be truly a real country, the political aspect of the continent would be different, drastically different from our timeline. The colonies uh, which uh, gained independence from the British would uh, stay in North America and truly interact with each other, not other foreign countries. In this timeline, citizens would identify their state and not by their country. Example, a person from Ohio would think of them not as American, but Ohioan. Of course, in this timeline, the U.S. would have never been a strong superpower or even invade other continents. The U.S. would have most likely wanted to compete with European colonies on the continent until other colonies in Africa, Asia, and finally North America rebel or ask for independence. It is difficult to say how France would have kept Louisiana territory, but regardless, regarding how the Napoleonic War went, it's safe to say not for long. In fact, Britain would have been the European countries to take the Great Plains area, furthering its surrounding of its old American colonies. Latin American countries such as Mexico and Peru would have declared independence of Spain, so the continent would look a lot differently. California and the West Coast most have likely stayed isolated from the rest of the continent until colonized or contacted by British or Mexicans. So California today would have, distinct, have a distinctly native, na native feel about it, especially since California had one-third of all the Native Americans on the continent. It's difficult to say how the history of the world would be due to an extreme case of a butterfly effect, but here is what is certain. 1. North America would be the continent of diverse and different nations, appearing a, more, a, lot, more, a lot European than one blank three-country system. 2. The states would develop their own unique culture and people due to such a disconnection politically from the other states. Number three, the Article of Confederation would have not lasted for long. It was terrible. So yeah, the Article of Confederations are terrible. They would, uh, they would have not lasted for long, and perhaps uh, things would go back to normal for a few hundred years. I'm a bit skeptical about this, but there is a possibility. All right, so that's it for my next video. So if you have any more suggestions, uh, leave it in the comment. I'm Hilbert Herring Halsey. That's right, that's my new name, so I have Hilbert Herringall. It's now Hilbert Halsey. I'm Hilbert Halsey, signing off.